Yes, I was just trying to fill a void unconsciously. We were just merely renting spaces in each other's hearts and not one. Hey there, welcome back to Love, Dating and Marriage Relationships with me, where we share, ask and answer relationship questions and to help you build intentional, healthy and long lasting relationships. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a spoken word piece I wrote back in August 2015. So that will be about five years today. Now I remember performing this at an event in my church and I remember people coming up to me with words of blessings and how they felt like I was speaking to them directly. It was such a powerful moment. So this piece for me is anyone's moment of clarity, anyone's moment of self-reflection. So if you find that in your dating relationship you have somewhat lost your identity and you're trying to get yourself back on track, I encourage you to listen to this piece and I hope that it blesses you. So keep on watching. Disrespect. Backtrack to six months ago when it all ended. That's half a year gone by so quickly already. He was the man I had prayed for, at least what I thought my heart wanted, which made my mind tick all the boxes in a hurry. Having a quick conversation with God, believing he had approved of him, we embarked on this journey. It's always sweet smell of roses in the early stages, butterflies in my stomach when it's the first and the last I speak to, morning and night. We constantly talked about our future, talked about places we wanted to visit, talked about names of our children, schools they would be likely to attend. It went on and on. It was all so beautiful till it was no longer beautiful. We loved each other or so we seemed, but how do you love without respect? So I wondered, how do you deny the one who loved your heart, your body and your soul, who loved the very being that you were, stood by you, prayed for you, lifted you up before God, believed in your dreams, didn't care about the age difference. Your family even called her our wife without a ring on her finger. It was all so beautiful till it was no longer beautiful. Regardless, we let ourselves the very luxury that God intended for a marriage. Hearts melting, bodies clinching, souls bonding. We were so weak to realize the depth of our situation. It was all so beautiful till it was no longer beautiful. strange my heart knew I wanted more this wasn't gonna cut it for me I began to ask more questions and have longer conversations with God and it became clearer that I knew what I had to do but boy I needed strength strength to break away I allowed God to tear us apart picked up whatever left of my heart there was ready to move on until I realized that I had left my values standards and principles behind now another he Patiently waiting and line comes forward after the fortunate breakaway and I became the very girl I dreaded so much. See, I no longer understood the line between like, love and hate. See, I like you and you like me but I am not like you and you are not like me. They say opposites attract but on some days we are close and other days we turn our backs. It is clear that we are not sure where we are nor where we are going but what's funny is that we find freedom in what we are without a title because too many things get involved once a title is placed on what we are. Wait a minute. What exactly are we? Wait, don't judge me. Walk a mile in my shoes and see if you still be preaching from the very same pulpit. I didn't want to lose this friendship, but at least I thought we had one. I guess I was just trying to fill a void unconsciously. We were just merely renting spaces in each other's hearts and not wanting to be evicted. We tried being just friends and it was so hard to adjust, so we just kept up with what we were more than friends but less than lovers not quite in a relationship but might as well be you say you're just friends but who are you kidding let's be honest it's not just a friendship it's a situation -ship. and no matter how hard we try to rewrite the story we would knew how it would end we would knew better so it's like you won't go backwards and not quite ready to move forward so you lie in limbo trapped between hurt and lowered expectations so you keep your guards up because too many times you've given a fair fight and in the end it always takes up the gloves I don't understand what's the point of building memories together when you and I know that we would only last temporarily together. What's the point of giving me your last name if it's not the last last name I'll carry? I'm sorry to bust your bubble but I'm not just one to date for the sake of dating. I'm not just any female. Now it's clear that what I was doing was leaving pieces of my heart, body and soul with them. More like I had no regard for the temple of God.
Yes, my body is a temple, a temple which means it ought to be respected and kept in Christ. Values, principles and standards were just words of proclamation and no practicality. Who was I before all of this? Where was I going? There was a vision. I knew I needed help, but I wasn't about to make the same wrong decision again. It became much clearer that I am a queen with godly standards, rich values and excellent principles, knowing not to let her heart away, knowing to guard her heart jealously for her king when he decides to show up. I am worthy of love and affection, the most stunning of God's creation. I am me, unique, different, just as God intended for me to be. I am a daughter of the living God, cherished, loved and adored above all things by the creator of all things. I am more than I am. It just took me a while to figure that out. I deserve nothing less than a king, not a boy trying to imitate one, or a man who wasn't put away childish things. A king for a queen like me. One thing is certain, my heart has to heal because God is working in me. And when you find me, you will say I was worth the wait because I know I am more than what I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this has blessed you, let me know by liking this video, share and let me know your thoughts in the comments as well. Also remember to share this video with others so they can be blessed as well. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to my channel. You also want to hit the notification bell so you know anytime I post up a new video. And as always, I encourage you to live an intentional life.